Hello everyone, I'm Francine de Alvarez here with a special report. Since the events of September 11, 2001 and the anthrax incidents that followed, there is a growing concern about new kinds of terrorist attacks. A major concern is the threat of attacks on the United States food supply. Intelligence reports have found that a terrorist attack on the food supply could pose both severe public health and economic impacts and also damage the public's confidence in the food that we eat. Both food safety and food defense are focused on keeping the nation's food supply safe. The difference between the two is that food safety is concerned with accidental contamination of food, while food defense is concerned with intentional contamination or sabotage of food. Food defense awareness and preparedness starts on the front line. Employees are the first line of defense in preventing, detecting, and responding to potential threats to the food supply. The FDA has created an initiative called Employees First that explains the simple steps frontline food industry workers can take to help protect against intentional contamination of the food supply. This first initiative is designed to help frontline food industry workers remember the following. F. Follow company food defense plan and procedures. I. Inspect your work area and surrounding areas. R. Recognize anything out of the ordinary. S. Secure all ingredients, supplies, and finished product. And T. Tell management if you notice anything unusual or suspicious. If the Employees First initiative is implemented nationwide by conscientious frontline food industry workers, the nation's food supply can be protected from terrorist threats. That's the news. I'm Francine Di Alvarez. <laughs> Does the FDA really think that people will actually go along with this food defense initiative? Most people don't believe that someone would be devious enough to actually think of a plan to poison the food supply, sell the antidote to the high bidder, and take over the world in the process. <laughs> no one would be that devious and calculating. No one, that is, except me. <laughs> <laughs> Food defense plans or not, no one will be ready to stop my master plan. After all, employees rarely pay attention during orientation. They often don't read their handbooks. And they probably won't follow any plan their bosses give them to protect their food supply. Frontline workers simply don't realize how important they are in keeping the food supply safe. When the first line of defense is not paying attention, the world is mine for the taking. <laughs> Speaking of plans, let's see how my agents are making out with mine. <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Ace. I'm the coolest one you'll ever meet. I'm here to show you how important you are in protecting the food supply. Thanks to the FDA's first initiative and your dedication, the food industry is prepared for a threat like this. What is first? I could tell you, but it might work better if I showed you. Here, take a look. F reminds us to follow our company's food defense plan and procedures. Each employee should have a good understanding of what their company's food defense plan and procedures are. You should ask your manager or supervisor if you have any questions about the plan. It is very important that you both read it and understand it so that you can put it into action if necessary. Always review employee bulletins and posted information about food defense so that you're up to date on any changes or new procedures. Having a plan is the first step in food defense. With a well-constructed plan, terrorist schemes and threats against our food supply get jammed up pretty quickly. What? This can't be happening. If the food industry starts adopting and following food defense plans, I'll never be able to get to the food supply. Attention, all agents. They're on to us. They've developed food defense plans and are aware of possible threats. We must step up our plan and begin to infiltrate the workplace. 
With FIRST, not only should you follow the company's food defense plan and procedures, but you should also inspect your work area and surrounding areas. Make sure you visually inspect your work area before, during, and after your shift. You should also inspect food materials for tampering and follow the appropriate procedures for reporting anything out of the ordinary. And keep personal items away from food processing or storage areas. Okay, now we know what the F and the I stand for, but what about the R? R reminds us that it's important to recognize anything out of the ordinary. But what kinds of things should you look for? You should identify any unauthorized access or changes in your equipment. Someone using your equipment or making changes to it without permission are things to look out for. Follow company procedures that limit access to the facility and controlled areas. You should never give a key card or access code to anyone. If they don't have permission to access that area, it's for a reason. Always be aware of individuals who are not wearing appropriate clothing or who don't have proper identification. Anything out of the ordinary should be reported to a manager or supervisor immediately. Agent Zero, I've seen how many frontline workers have been inspecting their work areas and have identified things that are unusual or suspicious. They are really putting this first initiative into practice. No matter, we'll hit them where it hurts. Get the ingredients, supplies, and food products contaminated immediately. I bet they're just lying around with easy access. Don't fail me again. We're running out of options now. There's also an S in the first initiative. The S tells us to secure all ingredients, supplies, and finished product. If things are properly secured, the wrong people will not be able to get to them. You should secure ingredients, supplies, and food during preparation, during distribution, and during storage. You should also store food products separate from poisonous and toxic chemicals like cleaning and sanitizing products. Making sure the ingredients, supplies, and food products are secure will make it that much tougher for terrorists to do anyone harm. Listen, and listen very carefully. The frontline food industry workers have defeated every attempt we've made, and now my master plan is ruined! Get out of there before you get caught. If they find out you're there and report it to management, we're all going down. The T in first lets us know that we should tell management if we notice anything unusual or suspicious. We know that if there ever is a threat against our food supply, we'll be well prepared to stop it. We have followed our company's food defense plan and procedures, inspected our work area and surrounding areas, recognized anything out of the ordinary, secured all ingredients, supplies, and finished product, and told management when we saw anything unusual or suspicious, like unlocked or open doors or equipment, or unusual behavior by employees, customers, contract workers, or other individuals, or if we suspected food or product tampering. Every single time we perceived that there might be a threat, we told management. We'll always follow company procedures for reporting a threat. With dedicated food industry employees implementing the first initiative, no plot against the nation's food supply can succeed. Remember, F, follow company defense plan and procedures. I, inspect your work area and surrounding areas. R, recognize anything out of the ordinary. S, secure all ingredients, supplies, and finished product. And T, tell management if you see anything unusual or suspicious. Food defense starts with a plan, and the ones who carry out that plan are the workers on the front line. That's you. I know you'll be prepared. This is Ace, the cool one, signing off. Remember, you'll be cool, too, if you follow the Employees First initiative. I may have been defeated this time, but this is far from over. There are many places in the food industry that do not have food defense plans, and when I find them, and I will, the world will be mine. Oh, yes, it will be mine!